I'm Jim Anderson. I'm the Philip Weld Professor in the Department of Chemistry and Chemical Biology, Earth and Planetary Sciences, and the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences at Harvard. Well, my research has evolved uh, in an interesting way from fundamentally understanding free radical kinetics and photochemistry that's critical to the chemical structure of the atmosphere that led us into studying the ozone layer and the Antarctic and the Arctic through to the coupling between chemistry dynamics and then into the aspect of climate. Well, one of the things that we developed was the ability to build instruments from scratch. We have a research group here that includes engineering development, analog digital electronics, optical mechanical design, software systems. So we integrate the scientific objectives with the ability to design and build entirely new instruments that then fly on these systems. I've been working for a number of years developing a new climate observatory that engages solar-powered stratospheric aircraft with LIDAR and radar observations that can tell you acre by acre the probability of wildfires breaking out, the probability for severe storms and flooding, as well as a number of other aspects related to the large-scale dynamical structure of the atmosphere that's so crucial for understanding the impact of increasing CO2 and methane from fossil fuel combustion. The big advantage of uh, solar-powered stratospheric aircraft is that they fly at a velocity that's orders of magnitude less than satellite. Those observations are made 24 hours a day, seven days a week, month in, month out, and it massively accelerates our ability to dissect these systems. I've always gotten a great deal of satisfaction out of connecting science to society and society's problems. So I've developed a course that connects the key central scientific ideas to the larger global context of why the physical sciences are so important and how they can solve these global problems. When I started out, I was drawn toward things that couldn't be done. And as soon as I sensed that they couldn't be done, that raised my appetite to do them. And I didn't realize the pattern as it was unfolding, but, but that has led to uh, the development of approaches in, in research that uh, I would never have attempted otherwise. An award from the Dreyfus Foundation, to me, is the most meaningful award I think I could imagine. They understand very, very thoughtfully and deeply what is going on in the domain of chemistry, chemical engineering, and societal responsibility. So I couldn't be more highly honored.